Hello everyone, welcome back. In today's video, we will talk about design system. Design system is a set of guidelines and patterns that used to create the consistency of visual language across product or across product platform. So for example, let's say we have a company, this company have one product, but this product have different platform versions. So for example, have a website, have a mobile application for iOS and Android. So to have a design system here will help this company to have the same UI and visual for the users across these platforms. Okay. The layers of design system or categories, component within a design system. Most of us only know about the atoms. The atoms is the small elements that you cannot break it down to smaller. For example, with the label as a text or input field, button, logo, something like that. So usually, if we group some of the atoms elements to have a different component, that means we are doing a molecules. So what does this mean? For example, let's talk about the search bar. So the search bar here includes input field and also label and also a button. And each one of them actually a part of the atoms layer. Okay. So if you want to go to different layer, if your product is big, for example, so that's mean maybe I can take this search bar and also I can take a navigation. Navigation can have more than one label. Okay. And the logo, that's mean I can create a website header. So website header here can contain the logo, navigation and search bar and so on. So you can see a uh, each layer of the design system have some elements of component library from the layer before. Okay. So if you have, for example, website header, also you have a footer, you have more than one section and you group them in one component, for example, that's mean you have a template. So the template is a group of organisms and so on. If also, if you have more than one template, that's mean you can have pages. Okay. So let's see what's next. The design system contains. Most of the designers only know about the design system that have only the components and library. And some professional designers say, no, this is not a design system. So let's make it simple. Let's say we have a simple design system and we have a complex design system. So for example, the simple design system can have like a typography guideline, color palette, components library, iconography, and so on. If you, if you want to add more to have a, a complex design system or a professional design system, that means maybe you have a design principles, maybe you have accessibility guidelines, also some UI patterns and templates, great system, interaction guidelines, animation standards, sometimes the companies edit, developer code guidelines, yeah, to see, to, to know how to use this as a code, yeah, to get the, the best benefits behind the design system. Sometimes also the responsive rules, web version for this design system and a documentation and absolutely if you have a design tokens that's mean you are getting the best experience of your design system okay the benefits the common benefits of the design system actually you will have a consistency and efficiency in your product brand cohesion faster development absolutely because most of the other of the elements already created before the designer have to reuse it and also the developer have to reuse it because the basic code and the style already included in this design system if we have a, a code guideline yeah for the developers also will improve the collaboration between the designers and developers and we will fill the gap between them while handing over the design to them scalability it's easy to edit yeah Easier maintenance absolutely will be very easy to fix any issue or to update your branding guidelines and so on. So because everything you go to like the main component and you update it, reflect to all and also go to the main component in the code and update it, reflect to all. Enhance user experience because if you have more than one platform, absolutely the user will get the same user experience. Who can use the design system? Now, maybe you can understand the design system not only for designers. So the design team absolutely will use it, but also the engineering team will use it. And sometimes if the company have a specific team for design system, maybe includes a part of this team can be accessibility team. And for big companies, also the marketing team is using the design system, especially the template part or the documentation. Yeah, so any marketing posts or social media or whatever they are doing, they have to follow the company branding guidelines. So I will put in the description of uh, this video, some resources for you. This is a short course from Figma introduction to design system. Absolutely, this will help. And for the, my audience from Middle East, this is also a live session on YouTube, uh, sorry, on Facebook. Yeah, by Amri Kamal, deep dive in design system. It's really good. And if you want to be a design token expert, so please 
try to join the waiting list i'm opening the waiting list right now you just go to osama Drini slash courses you you can go here you can find the course check here it's a nine weeks a course have a lot of videos at least now 72 videos for live sessions weekly live can session and a lot of things and activities and download file you just go here you check each week what's included yeah everything is here you this is for example week one week two and so on check the details if you like it just join the waiting list add your name email and choose your language arabic or english and hit the button okay this is our video see you soon